I do have a set of prayers where I say that prayers and I blow it on the audience. That means that I'm winning them over before even the show starts. And I am from Bangladesh, but wherever I go, people assume, hey, dude, you're from India. I said, no, I'm from Bangladesh. Oh, really? So which part of India is that in? <laughs> I say, so it's like a separate country. Oh, okay, so how do you tell the difference between a Bangladeshi and an Indian? Well, we don't do this. <laughs> and you know, I still can't tell the difference between the South Indian yes and the South Indian no. <laughs> and then my South Indian friend Balan Dinesh explains to me, smart guy, in a bit, watch very closely, okay? A South Indian no is a horizontal motion from right to left, left to right, right to left, left to right. A yes is a similar motion from right to left, but a little oscillatory. <laughs> I have a lot of respect for Indians. Let's give it up for all the Indians over here. I said that because the majority of the audience are Indians. They will kick my behind otherwise. But you know why I say that? Because Indians are perfectly bilingual, if not trilingual. And what do you call somebody who knows just one language? British. Ooh, no British over here, don't worry. They went a long time back. <laughs> but you know, I was curious how this uh, South Indian accent, or this Indian accent, with all due respect, works with an interactive voice recognition system. So I'm in the US, and I call up Dell. Welcome to Dell. Are you a member? Say yes, no, or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't understand. Please say again, I don't know. Sorry, I still didn't understand. <laughs> Let's see if I have an account listed for you. Please state your telephone number. 858-449-1966. <laughs> Are you calling from Kazakhstan? <laughs> no, yaar, you're such a dumb machine, yaar. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having so much trouble understanding you. Let me transfer you to a consultant. Welcome to Dell. My name is Roger Adams. <laughs> You're right. And I'm Uncle Sam. <laughs> oh, how are you doing, Mr. Uncle Sam? <laughs> no, dude, I'm just kidding, okay? Mera saad Hindi mein baat karo na tum. I'm sorry, sir, I don't understand Hindi. <laughs> and you can obviously tell I am from Louisiana. Now, please tell me what is your login ID. All right, it's Navid Mahbub. One moment, sir. Navid? Navid Mahbub? Dude, this is your buddy, Balandinesh. <laughs> America is mad at us daisies for all these jobs getting outsourced, you know? Ku Klux Klan shows up in front of my sister's house in Washington and leaves a burning laptop. But you know, I have to say, Indians are conquering the world. Conquering the world just like Julius Caesar. I came, I saw, and I outsourced. <laughs> and that's why the United States is a sea of brown. It's like a never-ending UPS convention. What can brown do for you? The only way you can get away from all the brown people is to go to the well-being center of Dr. Deepak Chopra. <laughs> but I do feel so sorry about uh, Native Americans because they are also referred to as Indians. I hear cowboys and Indians, and I picture John Wayne and Mahatma Gandhi. <laughs> Howdy, pilgrim. You sure look nice in those white clothes. John by Saab, stop pulling my leg. Put down your gun and follow the path of nonviolence. <laughs> but you know, America is a melting pot of cultures, and that's why they really uh, you know, value diversity. 
And for that matter, you know, I'm a Bangladeshi. I'm an engineer. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> and I'm a Muslim. Silence, silence. <laughs> And so that makes me a very diverse comedian in the US and I've got a huge following over there. FBI agents. <laughs> and I keep telling them, man, I am not a terrorist, okay? I love America and all things American. Made in China. <laughs> and then there are these other Americans who say, dude, you're a Muslim. Cool, man. You can have four wives. <laughs> Four wives means four mothers-in-law. <laughs> now that will lead a young Muslim man to go and blow himself up. <laughs> That's what I call the Muslim version of four weddings and a funeral. <laughs> but you know, in reality, we Muslim men don't have four wives because you know, boys will be boys, right? Boys will be boys. We love our own kids and everybody else's wives. <laughs> and speaking of kids, you know, I've uh, got a couple of kids. My little daughter, you know, she tells me, Baba, I need an iPhone. I say, why? Because my friend Jay has an iPhone. I need an iPhone. If Jay goes and jumps into the river, will you jump into the river? No, nah, Baba, I'll take his iPhone. <laughs> so who is this Jay? Oh, Baba, he's so metrosexual. <gasps> My daughter is six and I don't even know what that word means. <laughs> First time I hear the word metrosexual, I thought it meant like somebody who's attracted to public transportation. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that hot metro rail. Anyway, that's my time. I'm Naveed Mahbub. May Allah bless you all. Thank you.